my lovely Sandra here welcome back to my channel and today I am going to be showing you a very small modification that I have made to the Canther Bay I think this is the Silk Shorty Mew um, that just make it that makes sense to me and make it a little bit more wearable because I have two of them I do like them I love the patterns I love everything about them but I'm not that keen on wearing them that much because because there's a couple of things that I'm just not that's not gelling with me. The first thing for me, anyhow, you may not have this problem, but for me, during the day, it keeps working its way up and up and up and up and down my back, and I have to keep pulling the darn thing down. That annoys me. The second thing, if I want to wear it sort of more cropped, sort of like this, um, during the day. It, it sort of keeps coming loose or if I go to the bathroom I have to keep adjusting it etc etc and I can't quite get the crop of it right and the last thing is with these new ones that they bought out there's only the one button there's no buttons down there and what irritates me about it is that this I don't know why they did it but this keeps gaping open and then when I have it open it sort of just it doesn't seem to fall quite right on me anyhow so, so I was thinking about it, I thought I could do just a few little modifications, maybe show you guys what I'm going to do that would make it more wearable. If you have one, like I say, if you have one and you love it and you're just not as, um, <laughs> well, if you love it, that's great. If you're a little bit like me and you don't want to mess around, you know, I've worn, I've worn uh, the pink one. I've worn it for a whole day, but all day I've had to keep pulling it and pulling it um, just for it to stay where I wanted it that day. And I was like, oh, it's really irritating. Um, so let me show you the one that I did, the little modification I made, and then I'll show you how I made it. OK. I did have my headband on earlier, but every time I take this off and put it on, because I've already recorded this once and it didn't record well, so this is my second time and my headband kept coming off, etc, etc. So now you can see with the pink one, what I love about the pink one is that she's fully embroidered at the back. Fully embroidered, she's just beautiful and she has this gold trim. So what I did was, I want to be able to wear her sometimes. I want to be able to wear a cropped like this and just have that kind of look. Or I want to be able to wear her a bit lower down and have it stay. That's the most important thing. And I can because I've just done this modification. Second thing I did was, I just did a little sew just up here. It's probably not looking perfect. I did it by hand, not with my sewing machine. Um, and I'm not going to sell this, so I'm okay. But I mean, if I had a sewing machine, I would have, if, if I was able to use my sewing machine, I would just have got that perfect. But it's okay. It, it doesn't matter for me anyway. But I did just sew up a, an extra little bit up here, just so that it sits a little bit better around here. I can still fasten it if I want to and be a bit more. Have I got this inside? I've got this inside out, guys, I think. Have I? I've got it inside out. Duh, I'm such a dummy. Um, okay, so I can still <laughs> I can still fasten it if I want to. Another thing I noticed with these ones, and I noticed this with a Phoenix tunic, was that for some reason when they put the button in there. There's a lot more fabric running down here than on the back one. I don't know if that makes any sense to you. So I literally had to hold it in place where I wanted to sew it. I sewed it across and then I tried to sew it down a little bit, just a little bit better. OK, just saying that. Let's put this the right way around. Because that's just silly, isn't it? OK. <sighs> okay so like i say now i can wear it up 
here and if I wanted to wear a bra I can wear a bra and just have this little bit that's elasticated up here now I have these lovely dangly bits here and then the back you can place it where you want and to me that just made that just made a big difference now it doesn't matter if it's sort of uh, buttoned up here because when I undo the button it just sits nicely open I don't really for me what I'm probably going to do eventually when I get to my sewing machine is sew this placket down like this so I don't even have to mess with it but at the moment for today's uh, Lou has just come in I'm just going to show you how I do the bottom in case you are interested in just modifying yours just a wee bit for this one I'm going to need my glasses excuse me guys okay so for this one I picked this up from Walmart it is a one eighth of an inch braided elastic okay I also have a big darning needle which I use for my crochet and I've got one can you see that that's sort of rounded at the end so there's no there's you know it's not sharp at the end a uh, little pair of scissors and then to sew it up at the end I don't have the right kind of color but I've got a white so I can do that okay I'm sitting down and I'm just taking the elastic out of here and randomly throwing the trash Miss Lulu's watching me on the bed she's been a right pain lately guys as well just to let you know okay so now we want to find the end of it I don't know why my my um, filming timing is not a lot but anyhow and then what I normally do is I'm going to thread this through here and give it quite a wide berth put quite a bit in there the next thing you want to do is on the inside go to one of the sides and I'm going to be making a small cut okay along the bottom the bottom of your thing will normally have a sew down there and this is great this is just wide enough as well that what I'm going to do on the inside I'm finding the side just one of the sides and I'm going to make hopefully you can see you want a small pair of scissors and you only want on one side of it just to make a small incision can you see that hole there guys and then I haven't cut this down to size or anything but then what you want to do is pop your needle in and start threading it along the inside when you get to a certain point stop and just lightly pull the fabric okay depends on how well they've sewn the bottom of this but that's what I do just very gently because what we're doing is we're taking the elastic all the way through the bottom of this top. I've actually got this one up for sale, but I'll take it off the sale page now because now I've done this hack, I can wear it. It might get a bit where you get probably halfway around because this is there's quite a lot of fabric on this. Be gentle doing it. You do not want that that needle to sort of pierce through any of the silk if you can and just keep pulling it down hold tight onto the needle and just keep pulling that down so it goes so the elastic goes through it we're coming up to the halfway mark and it went all the way through this one good oh she slipped me pull it don't worry about how much elastic you're using at the moment no just I never cut it to size originally I used to do that what a mistake that was okay I always cut it to size after I've threaded it all the way through do you know I'm thinking I could also take one of the muse that I've got that I'm not wearing and shorten her and turn her into a uh, crop top now as well I guess you could do this with any top now Oh, still got quite a bit way to go. Pull it out. I'm just 
going to hold on to the needle and pull this down a bit. Don't let go of your needle. Let go of your needle, you're going to be uh, redoing the whole lot. So try and hold on to the needle really well if you can. I promise it gets easier when you get to the end. Okay. I'm hungry, I haven't eaten yet. Okay, so now we're coming out this end. Hold on to your needle. This is why I say don't cut this down to size yet. Because now what you need to do is you need to get the whole of this out. Hold on to it start pulling it gently because it is silk start pulling the silk down from this end okay we're coming to where the end of it's come out here this is put my needle down so all i'm going to do at the moment Right, I'm not even going to look at the length of it. I'm just going to tie this off. Just like that. And then I'm going to hold this up. Hopefully, and just pull it now down to, you know, a relatively good thick. And hopefully you still got the end there. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to put the thing on, which I'm going to stand up for. Hey again, guys. Okay, so now I've turned it the right way up. And all I'm going to do is just put the thing on first. Okay, just to make sure that I know where I want the elastic to be. Okay, and then just pull it around. Now this is very loose, I do want it tighter because the end of it is down here. I do want it tighter, but I'm, I'm, I've deliberately made it looser to start off with. So now, hopefully you can see, I'm just going to bit by bit, pull it and hold it and see how that fits. Okay, maybe a little bit more for me. Pull it, hold it and see how that fits. That's probably right and all I'm going to do is I'm going to tie up, do a tie, and tie that one in. Oh, there's lots coming through. Okay, that one. So I've got a little uh, a little knot there. Lulu's looking at me like, what's that, mummy? And then just cut all the excess off for a second. Okay, just make sure that's definitely tight enough I could put it like that I could put it like this yeah that's tight enough for me so all I'm going to do is where that knot is there lift it out and do a second knot yeah you'll have a big fat knot mark there but I'm okay I, I, I like to double knot mine to make sure that I know that it's definitely knotted up and then just cut A little bit there and then just adjust it and make sure she sits exactly where I want it to sit and like I say you can you can do it straight there and more bubbly at the back or you can do it more bubbly at the front it, it's really you know it's really up to you you can have it as high as you want okay so now we need to sew up that little hole that we made okay okay so for this bit you're gonna need a needle and some thread I was lucky that oh, and a uh, and your scissors because the little gap there now you can see you want to just pop that in and sew that up and this blue goes with the blue there so I'm just going to this is the fiddly bit guys really isn't it and it's got to be done thread the darn needle like that Scissors, just cut it a little bit. We're not going to be doing a great deal. Throw that on the bed. Throw that on the bed. Sit on the scissors. Normally I would be like doing this on the couch, but 
doing this in front of you guys hopefully you can see it it's such a rainy horrible day today i don't know what's going on with the weather again so i want to make sure it's inside out and then realistically what i found is the little tie there is a little bit fatter than the opening that i made on the silk uh so let's just make the opening a little bit bigger on the silk just so the whole thing goes in and i don't have to because i can still sew it up so i'll do a little snip and hopefully it's fiddly i'm not gonna lie but what i'm trying to do is get this bit of here inside this bit here if i can't do it i'll just sew around it but i know another pair of hands let me just put the, the needle down for a sec and you know what i think i'm gonna do i'm gonna do one more little tiny slit uh like i say i'm not gonna sell this one so well i'm not gonna sell it now anyway i'm just gonna bring the silk over it if i can i'm just gonna bring the silk over it and then i'm just gonna start sewing uh, if there's a better way that you know of doing it let me know but this is just the way that that I'm doing it I'm not a seamstress you know that guys I'm just uh, I'm just doing this so I can get this thing to so I can actually wear it uh, and feel more comfortable wearing it you know and if this plus if this doesn't go fully in it doesn't go fully in La, 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 la. hope everyone's been keeping well i'm going to put this down a bit so you can see hopefully what i'm doing it's still poking out it's like just like a bad zit that won't go away but we'll get it to work this is like the most awkward bit i suppose for me do you know what i i think for this one with the pink one i managed to get it inside the silk this one doesn't even look like it wants to go in so i'll just sew around it and we'll just live with the way that it looks there it's on the inside it doesn't really to be honest it doesn't bother me but uh, if you're watching this thinking what a hatchet job she's just done to that yeah i'm just doing the best that i can <laughs> But it really is going to be the best that I can, as long as it sort of sews it up a bit. I don't mind if I've got a little bit poking out there. Let's just sew over it. Like I say, if you are a seamstress, you will know how to do this better, do it better. If you're not a seamstress, like me, and you're just winging it, good for you. Because that's just winging it, baby. I'm just winging it. Just cut off this little bit here and a little bit there now. So I've got like a little nub in there sticking out. I'm not going to undo it all and redo it, guys. Just sew it a bit more, get it a bit flatter. Don't think it's going to make a big difference. It's on the inside. I did not want to keep ripping open more and more of the uh, of the silk though. I know you're watching this going to be going, what a horrid job, but I guess it is what it is. A couple more. Okay, that's going to be the best that I've done it. Which is not good, but I think if I wasn't filming and I was sitting down doing it, probably would have done a better job. But I'm not. So for me, it's just this little nubbiny bit that's just there. It's not too bad because, you know, when you're wearing it, you're not going to see it anyway. It's not going to bother me. And then the bit 
that's up at the buttonhole. Okay, let's just see what we're going to do there. I think I'd prefer to do it with a sewing machine, but let's just show you what I would normally do. I suppose I could do it by hand. Still going to use this blue. Oh, I'm getting old. I'm getting too old, guys. Okay. So there's the button holy bit. And you can see, I think this, there's too much fabric here than there is at the back. That's just my take on it anyway. So what I'm going to do is just hold the buttony bit there, nice and taut and flat. Hold it and then about halfway down, I'm just going to do a little sew just right across the top. I hope. Uh, you'll get to see it first here if I've just messed my top up. Come on, my darling. And then, this is really awkward to do, but I mean, it's awkward to do on a camera, but I'm going to hold it all straight at the back and then just right along the top. Holding both pieces together, I just do a few little tacks in there. I'm not even going to worry that much about it. Like I say, if you've got a sewing machine, this would be so much easier to do. Uh, but some, not everybody has a sewing machine, so now I'm going to go back on myself. So I've gone right along the top bit there uh, I'm not sure if you can see that just there right along the top done a little sew and then I'm just going to sew the little opening down as well I don't have any specific um, type of stitch that I use I just I suppose a blanket stitch is what I like to use well, at some point in the future, I may undo this and do it sort of professionally, but I don't know. It just depends how, I guess, how I'm feeling at that time. Just some nice big stitches down there. I'm not doing them too small or too, well, not doing them too small, just in case I change my mind at a later date. And decide to, you know, do it properly. Okay. I really didn't think this video through when I started it earlier. I was just like, I'll oh, just show them what I've done. Uh, pretty much. I do, do like the colours on this. On the inside of this top, it has actually had some areas that... Um, Well, they hadn't been made, sewn up all that well. Either that or they, um, because this fabric is um, recycled fabric, maybe it was the fabric. So I've just sewn up a little hole that was on the inside of there. It happens with these kind of things. Let me just get that put down. Okay. And then at the top... So what I've got now, I'll try it on in a minute. You can't really see it, can you? But when I open the button up, 
it's just sewn a little bit up there so the placket is just sewn a little bit down there plus not only that but it got the placket straight because what i had to do was there was too much fabric on this again uh, so when i you know normally when i fastened it up it had this big gaping hole all the way down it's got a little gaping now but not too much so by doing that i held it down on the inside so where it's got too had too much fabric i just sewn that down i'm not sure if that makes any sense but um well, let's try it on and let's see how she looks okay so here she is on guys and the side that i sewed it where the little bit is you can't even see because it's sort of you know puckered up from the elastic anyway you really can't see that that little bit of elastic is just there it, it doesn't really matter um you know if you're a perfectionist and you want it definitely inside the uh inside the silk you can definitely do that this you know I think I'm doing it how most people would do it who are not particular seamstresses but can sew a little bit if you can just sew a little bit cut that hole thread it through get it tied up and then you've only got to sew that little nubbin at the, at the you know just at the end to stop the silk from unraveling um and then this bit at the top you can see now that it sits a lot better here so i actually sewed from here down to here so about two inches because it already has a little bit there uh, but it's sort of, i think it sits a bit better now on my neck if i want it to sit like that open it's not all gaping it's not all gaping open sometimes i do want something off the shoulder and gaping sometimes i don't as far as the way it fits now i can wear my harem pants and I can put this either right underneath where my boobies are and have it more or less like a bat wing. <coughs> Excuse me. Or now I can have it running a little bit lower down onto the, the waistband and wear it like that. But it ain't going to move. It's not going to, well, do you know what? I'm hoping it's not going to move. <laughs> Otherwise, I've just done all that for nothing. Um, but it's not really going to move. It's just going to be there. If I want it, like I say, flatter, to be flatter here, I just hold on to the fabric, pull it all the way round, and then you've got more of a flat waistband there, if you want it flat. And then you just have more of the juju good stuff there. Or if you're not bothered, you just have it all running like that. I mean, now it just looks like, I suppose what it looks like, is one of the butterfly tops that they do the only thing is that with the butterfly top i couldn't get my darn head in it so this is not that far off a butterfly top is it because it's got the little back wings either side and you can you can just wear it <laughs> i mean i i don't have to worry about it moving now today so yeah I, I will take this off the sale page i mean even if this goes back now on my shoulders it's still not moving from here see I can have it pulled down if I want and then during the day if it does go foot backwards it's not actually going to go all the way up and start showing anything that I don't want it to show it's just going to sit nicely and that's it that was my little tutorial these tops are really really nice they are from Camphor Bay they are a one size fits most and I would say you can see how big it is it will fit most people it's nice and airy has lots of airy here if you don't like the gapiness there you can always put a little stitch there as well i'm not bothered because i always wear something underneath so it doesn't bother me and yeah i'm not paid sponsored endorsed nothing like that not related to affiliated to i just really like the clothes this is a really nice top to wear because you have the breeze going through here and here even if you don't do the modification it's still a nice top to wear and you know like i say i'm at that age where i don't really want to keep messing with stuff if if you are okay you know during the day just having things drape off your shoulder and that that's great i just don't want all that guys i just i know what i do like i know what i don't like and by putting that little band in there yeah
I want to do another one now and I don't want to have another one. <laughs> okay, well, thank you for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. If you liked my rather haphazard video, thumbs up would be great. Let me know, is it something that you would consider doing? Um, you know, even if you're not someone who is very proficient at sewing, I think it's something you could do. If you can just sew just around a little knot, I think you'll be good. In the meantime, thanks guys. Bye.